I have another video from Smiles Agenda. Oh. This one is about a- atheistic hellfire. Ooh. I don't know what this is about. Oh, let me, let me bring it up here. So, again, I have not watched this. I have no idea. I just saw the word atheist and hellfire, and I was like, we need to watch this. The Hindus call it Narg. The Muslims call it Jahannam, and the Christians call it the hellfire. But a little known fact that atheists also have a hellfire. Ooh. Okay, I have no idea what he's going to say. Let's guess. Let's guess what he's... I atheists have, no have a hellfire. Let's guess before we play it. What is Maybe... he referring to? Health. Maybe he's referring to a nuclear war or something. Karma? Maybe. He's talking no. about karma, maybe? No, no atheists believe in atheist. that. Yeah, but atheist the, they're the idiots. Those are yeah. idiots. They're not rational atheists. We're, we're, we're talking about it. You've got to be consistent. Yeah, look, yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah, now, nah, but that's not a part of atheism, though. That would be part of a personal opinion of an atheist. Who I don't... know, but I'm trying, I know it's not, but I'm trying to think about what he is going to say. I'm trying to put my brain. Like I'm just trying to think. Like, I well, reckon, is he gonna? Is he gonna make fun of atheists who believe in woo stuff? Or maybe I, I reckon. I reckon he's gonna go with nuclear war. Nuclear war. Nuclear war. Okay. And that hellfire is in this world, okay. and it starts when they denounce God. There uh-huh. they burn in the fire of meaninglessness. Oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I am I am drowning it's like I'm drowning in the fire of nothingness <laughs> drowning <laughs> we're suffering whatever makes you happy smiles agenda we're suffering so much we are so our lives are just full of emptiness every day we're like why i can why can i not go back to being religious my, my life was full of meaning harris are you not suffer do you is your life empty full of like no but the, but you know this is why this is actually it's stupid superficially as well but it's stupid philosophically as well because or practically as well because I have not run into a single atheist who is worried about becoming nothing after he dies, you know, and, and, no, and, they, no, no, and that, no, 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 but this life, yeah. no, no, yeah, but in this life, yeah. So what he's, what, what he's implying is that because atheists are conscious of the fact that they're going to become nothing. So therefore this life is meaningless. This is like, he's going into nihilism. Why do they want to convince themselves that we are suffering from meaninglessness? <laughs> okay, like is you guys, you guys, guys. Okay, if if you know what, I care about Muslims' happiness so much. Okay, that I will give you that. We're just every day. We're like, oh my god, this life is so meaningless. We're so miserable. We have no purpose. Okay, we're suffering so much. Is that is that what you want to hear? Do do you think they go and like jack off to that to think thinking about us like suffering? Is I think they're like that. These people are you sadistic? Are do you actually is that what you would tell yourself to get joy? Like wouldn't wouldn't that suggest that you are suffering from meaninglessness? If you if you get joy out of thinking like oh these atheists they don't have God they must be suffering. Does that make you happy? Like do you have so much lack of meaning in your life that this is the source of your happiness? To think about all oh, those atheists must be suffering, because it's... I want Muslims to be happy, and I think Muslims are happy. I think most Muslims, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't go around like, oh, Muslims, they, I'm so happy that these Muslims who don't believe what I believe in or don't believe in things that I don't believe, they're suffering, they have miserable lives. I don't think about that. I want, me, I want Muslims to have meaningful lives. I want Muslims to be happy. I don't get joy out of thinking about how sa- how sad Muslims are. But look, look at the look at how they celebrate this. It's first of all, let's just address that point as well. Um, that there's that's not true that atheists don't have meaning. Uh, your life, yeah. you you have a meaning, whatever meaning you give your life. You know, like like Amen and I, we we're activists. You know, we're very happy and content with our lives. And there's so many other atheists who are, who are happy and content with their lives. One way to question that, and I made that video four or five years ago, and I said. How do you say, how can you, so basically they're claiming that in order to live, you need a meaning. When you go to heaven, what meaning are you going to have? If you say, oh, in heaven, you can't have a meaning. You're basically saying in heaven to live, you don't need a meaning. So, well, you can apply the same logic here as well, that 
you can um your, your life actually that actually makes your life more meaningful you know because you and i know like we're, we're both hitting about 40 and we've got like maybe 25 30 years left and we've got to you know and again we're constantly we're not actually thinking about our death that's all the time we're, we're just not but we are aware of it at the back of our minds and we're, we're still doing our thing so yeah isn't, I, isn't, yeah. isn't life more meaningful if it's limited yeah <laughs> of course it's been more... if, yeah i mean if 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 i if i um if if i know that i have this life that i have is not going to last forever then every second of it becomes more meaningful Mm-hmm. I think it works the other way around. I don't understand what they're talking about. But let's 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 see what he's getting at. Of nihilism. They are tortured by depression because of course life is meaningless and there is no good and there is no bad. And of course Oh my god. Straw man, straw man, straw man. I mean that's why this that's why this that's why this guy is a Muslim because he doesn't understand atheism. You know, look at even okay. He's not even saying he could. It would be easier to defend him um, if he was like saying atheists on average are more depressed. Okay, then we have to go look at statistics. But he's just making such an absolute general claim that it's just so easy to debunk. Why are you making it so easy for you to debunk? Not no atheists are not all depressed. Okay, a lot of us are ha- having like joyful, meaningful, purposeful lives. You know how could you how could you even think that how could you even imagine that that people it's it's not enough to, for you to say like I believe in this and I think atheists are wrong you just have to say like they're all just depressed they're all just really, like why do you have to go the extra mile just be like okay they, I believe their conclusions are illogical because I have evidence for God and here it is, here this here's my evidence and they're wrong not to believe in it. But that's not enough for you. You just have to go and attack the entirety of atheists and just reduce their lives to something meaningless. It's just so pathetic and desperate. Unbelievable. Yeah, they're so stupid. They, yeah. they, 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 yeah. they keep saying it's that over and over again. Yeah, and also good or bad. Like you, how out of touch do you have to be? You could uh, for you to not to understand that we do believe in good and bad. We have our own moral systems that are, we believe is superior to your moral systems. You know, the, the, the uh, divine command theory, which is your moral system, is not the only one. It's not the only one. We have uh, uh, virtue ethics. We have utilitarianism. We have deontology. We have um, virtue ethics. And what, what we subscribe to, at least I do, is rule utilitarianism. And the dumbest ones, the, the, the dumbest um ethical structure the moral structure that there is is yours is divine command theory so you could say like our, our this is our moral system and that's theirs and we think theirs is wrong and here's our reasons but you can't even do that your your arguments is so stupid like you you claim that we don't even have a moral structure we do at least come and understand what we're saying and then challenge it but this is such a straw man to act like we don't even have a moral structure Continue. Fire of meaninglessness, of nihilism. They are tortured by depression because, of course, life is meaningless and there is no good and there is no bad. And, of course, materialism as they become mere pawns for these corporations to sell to. And, of course, individualism, which not... Atheists are mere pawns for corporations to sell to. Like, what general nonsense are you talking about? Like, do, do does this even deserve a response? It has, I, I got nothing. He, he himself indulges in materialism. Look at him. Look at the microphone. Look at the hat. Look at the jacket. Look at the look at the glasses. <laughs> we we there. We have much more uh, more worthy goals than just consuming and being pawns for corporations. We have people who we love. We have goals that uh, you know. And not all of us. Again, there are atheists that are evil okay so unlike you i'm not going to act like all muslims are bad and all atheists are good the way you talk about all atheists i'm not going to do that but there are many atheists that have worthy goals that are trying to serve humanity that are trying to reduce misery in the world that care about genuinely care about increasing well-being in this world how do you deny that at least say that okay some of these atheists are well-meaning people i just disagree with their beliefs 
Why do you have to reduce all atheists to this? This is such a dumb generalization. At least be on Do you actually believe this? Because if you don't, at least be honest about what you're saying. But if you actually believe this about all atheists, then I'm sorry, you, you're so stupid. Like reconsider the way you talk about an entire group of people. Like we don't, Muslims don't deserve to be talked like that about all Muslims. Like imagine if I said Muslims as a whole have meaningless lives. Like that's such a stupid claim for me to make as an atheist. But look at the way you're talking about an, enti an entire group of people. It's disgusting. It's absolutely, it's, it's nasty. It's immoral. Like if you who believe in good and bad, you, you say we don't. I at least believe in enough good and bad to think that this way of talking about an entire group of people, it doesn't matter if they're atheists or not. If you talk about it like that about Christians, about Muslims, about Jews, about atheists, that's disgusting. That's immoral. That's bad. You think like we don't believe in good and bad? Well, I do. And that's bad. What you're doing is bad. It's immoral. Not only burns them, but burns the society around them as well. So what's the solution? The solution is to acknowledge Love and obey Allah as shown by the... How, look how you put acknowledge. You say, you say we are pawns to corporations, okay? But you are actually saying that you are a pawn of this Allah, of this ideology, of this dogma, okay? Um, as an atheist, again, I don't, I'm not talking about all atheists, but we, um, there's a lot of the, us that we are not pawns of anything. We evaluate things. Like we, 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 we independently do cost benefit analysis like independently try to see the merits in certain things arguments or positions or whether something is good or bad again not all there are evil atheists out there right but you're saying as a muslim you have to submit to allah you are actually a pawn to a dogmatic belief that you have to accept unconditionally and then you put like to, to love and look how dishonest this is you're, you're putting loving right next to submitting allah as if as if these are the same thing as if we are incapable of loving as atheists as if we have to believe in your afterlife to be able to love each other and care for each other the solution is to acknowledge love and obey allah as shown by the final prophet muhammad okay and also another thing is that this whole understanding of finding meaning in life because you're saying that we have meaningless lives because we don't believe in allah that's also so dumb because again even if we are wrong try to understand our position we think that individuals are different in, we think our way of finding meaning and purpose of life makes a lot more sense because it's it's hard. It's really difficult to imagine that all the humans, all with all the different um, skills that they have and with the different um, ambitions that they have, they all have to serve one goal. You have this template goal that you you that that you want to force upon the ent entire hum humanity, which is to serve Allah. But we we find we find goals for humans that are individually tailored for them, based on what they, what drives them, what um, what ambitions they have, and what skills they have. We think our way of finding, we think that we don't we are not born with goals and purpose. We think we find our goals based on where we are, what uh, situations that we have, what opportunities we have, and what drives us. We find goals and purposes that are perfectly fit and tailored for us as an individual. And this is why we are individualists. We don't believe in collective goals pre-made pre for humanity. We think we go through a path of discovery to create our goals, to create our purposes. And we think that's better. And you might disagree, but at least acknowledge that is our position, that we do believe that there's a way to find goals and purposes that are meaningful and worthy. And be like, okay, this is why you're wrong. Don't pretend that we don't have goals. Don't don't pretend that we're all living meaning meaningless lives. Be honest about how you criticize us. It's stupid. I I, I don't think there's anything to add. This is just maybe we should watch these videos before we actually play them because we can end up with <laughs> with, with a video as stupid as that. <laughs> it's just like I, I don't know what I just watched, and I I mean these people still exist. They still exist. So well. <laughs> oh, by the way, if I had no meaning, why, 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 why do you think I was so? Would you think I was all an act? Do you think like I, that drive doesn't come from the from? Let's the, try to steal man's yeah. position. They, they would say that no, because you don't have your own god or own religion. That's why you are so bitter that you have to shit on other people's religion. But. You, you could then you could argue that he has a shitty meaning, but he has a meaning nonetheless, 
So it's still wrong. You you still have a meaning then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's still wrong. It's so stupid. <laughs> Such a stupid argument. Yeah.